Welcome back. It's a segment that Mark here has been most excited about yes, all morning long. Co-founders really of Gray Whale Gin are joining us this morning for World Martini Day. Ooh, did we know? I did not. I did not. Well, please welcome Marsh Mctari, the co-founder and distiller of Gray Whale Gin. Good morning, Marsh. Good morning. It's a pleasure. How are you doing? Great. So you have a recipe. We're going to try to make this with you. What are we making with your Gray we're Whale make Gin? It. A classic 50-50 gin martini. And we're going to use gray whale gin. Okay. This okay. is a gin made of botanicals found right along the migratory path of the gray whale. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the coastline right in my shirt here. Very nice. Okay, perfect. But, uh, all we're doing is one and a half ounces of beautiful gray whale yeah. gin. Okay. You can be the just, holder. I have no uh -huh. idea how much this is. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just filling it all, all the way to the brim. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's in our and shaker. Of vermouth. And vermouth is just um, okay. wine with a little bit of botanicals in it. Uh -oh. Botanicals. Botanicals. It's always the botanicals that get me. Exactly. The botanicals oh, yeah. are gin. Or that's fill what, it up. All right. That's what makes gin gin. Uh, otherwise, it would be called vodka with flavor. It, there so you go. Botanicals <laughs> are all listed on yeah, the front of the bottle. Point. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the gin and the vermouth. And all we're doing is adding ice, and we're going to stir. Oh, Do we need a uh, little uh, zest of lemon at all? We're going to add that to the garnish of the glass. Ah, stirring. Very good. Okay, so stir. Okay, uh, stir not shaken, right? Is that stirring. what we're doing here? Okay. Well, you could you could shake if you're James Bond, but okay. if you're a true martini aficionado, then you would you would stir it. And okay. what is the difference? I mean, is there a, a taste difference? There is. You know what? It's a dilution Point. difference. Dilution. That's the big difference. When James Bond, I, I get a sneaky suspicion that James Bond needed to be compass mentis, so he wanted to water down his drink okay. and be a bit of a rebel at the same time. That's why he had it shaken. Yeah. Dilution is the solution. There you go. I'll fill yours up since you poured. Oh. There you go. You are a heavy okay, bartender pourer. All right, so we've yeah. got this. All right. And then what do we do with the lemon? And then we're going to just zest the lemon. And we and don't give have it a, a zester. Okay. Pop it in. Can, I, can I squeeze? It should look a little something like that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yours huh. looks prettier. Yeah. And my. I might need some practice. I think I'm soaked in gin. But besides that, all right, cheers. Okay, cheers. All right, cheers, Marsh. And cheers to you guys. Thanks for having us on. Tell us about gray whale while we're, while we're tasting. Yeah, well, look, I'll show you the migratory path of the gray whale is right there, like I mentioned in the, in the bottle. And uh, all of our proceeds, well, I'd like to say all of them, but at least 1% goes to ocean conservation through our support of Oceana and 1% for the planet. All of the botanicals are found right along that uh, migratory path. They're all from California. So you've got juniper berries from Big Sur, kombu sea kelp from Mendocino, fir trees from Sonoma. It truly is a taste of the Pacific in a glass. I'm drinking a fir tree? <laughs> You're drinking a fir tree. It's nice. the botanical. And that's what I keep saying to folks, that gin is is your rosemary encrusted herbaceous bread. And think of vodka as being kind of more of a bland, blank wonder bread, if you like. I feel like <laughs> I, I might I just, need some bread to soak it up. Wonder bread is good for you. So, like 12 <laughs> different ways, isn't that what they said? Perfect. Well, thanks for being with us, Marsh. Mm. I know I got, I got a hole in my lip. Yeah. I think this is the first martini I've ever had in my entire life. Really? Yeah. But won't be the last. Well, it might be if I keep <laughs> spilling like I am. Yeah. Well, thank you, Marsh. For more information, be sure to visit graywellgin.com. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Mm.